Hey guys, this is Ton Ton here and welcome back to my channel. So as for this new episode of After All These Years, I will introduce you to a very old figures that some of you may not know, but I find this guy very interesting. So today we have the Transformer Generation Orion Pax, that he's is actually Orion Pax rather than Optimus Prime. So I find this pretty interesting because not many Orion Pax figures have been produced. And for me, this is a really interesting character because it shows that who Prime was before he became a prime and so I hope that they're gonna do more and more figures of Orion Pax because that could mean that we get to see more of Orion Pax in some uh, continuity as for the Wolf of Cybertron and as an example and etc. So now let's begin. So here we have, this is Orion Pax over here and essentially he's the same color as Optimus, not too many differences. So you still get the same classic blue, red, and some gray with some yellow highlight onto him. You got to the two yellow mark, which is really G1E looking. And that is pretty nice. As for this guy, as a individual figures, a lot of people will think, okay, this is an Optimus figure, but in fact, this is an Orion Pax. And he's really interesting. And I'm gonna zoom in onto the face here. And as for the face scope, this is a really interesting face scope in my opinion because it is still essential the Optimus head but without a mouth plate and he's a much younger looking Optimus, really young looking and that is really interesting to me. It shows that how immature and inexperienced he is. We, he got a light piping onto his head but unfortunately the eye has been painted in a sky blue color so it might not be working like that you got some silver paint and that would be it for the head scope now moving on down to the chest section so this is a really interesting chest section in my opinion it features a clear piece of plastic a ship as like the front section of his vehicle mode and the nice thing here is that you actually got a lot of engine details inside which I absolutely enjoyed and you got an Autobot symbol on his chest which is really impressive and moving down to his torso and I must say this is why I like this figure his torso is really slim and does make him have a, such a strong body build and I enjoy that for the arm section this is the classic and there's nothing too much to talk about this is essentially the same thing we seen before but this time with that details of the arm it looks like he's having armory on this is pretty interesting and i hope that i'm gonna see this kind of details in the upcoming figures and so this since this is a old school figure so they still got some hollows onto the arm section because that folding mechanism of the hand is folding in yet yeah, there's nothing we can do about that the leg section is the same as well you got some curve onto this armory section you got some curve over there and this details makes me think of the uh, War for Cybertron game Optimus. He also has, has a lot of curve, unlike the other versions that he is like more like blocky and stuff. And this is it about it. And this shows us how the transformation goes. So you simply just gonna flip it up and you finish the transformation. And that would be it. So because since this guy is a Cybertronian vehicle mode, so they got the choice to design him before the actual vehicle. So that is why we have a not so many kibbles looking figures, which has a great body build. And I absolutely enjoy that of him. Accessory wise, this guy comes with a standard Optimus Prime Ion Blaster. It's pretty much g one looking. And that would be it. And to attach it, you just simply plug it onto his hand. And the second accessory is the battle axe, the Energon axe. So this is the black handle and orange orange clear plastic. And that is him holding his weapon. And that is really interesting. And now off to some size comparison. So here we have Orion Pax next to his Earthrise Optimus Prime and the Siege Deluxe Class Mirage. So as you can see, the size of him and Mirage is pretty similar, but like he's a little bit shorter than Mirage. But I mean like that's the size and that shows how much the toys has developed. As for Mirage, he's a much he's a later deluxe class, so he got somewhat of a better paint job and everything. But yeah, that shows how much the toy has grown. And uh, I mean like how has the, the toy's development has evolved. Articulation wise with this guy, we can begin with the head. You can look up that far and that is it. He's on a ball joint, so of course you can do with the full 360. The arms can swing out like that. You got a full rotation at the shoulder. 
you got a this is a really interesting butterfly joint here so that he get a, a lot of range in articulation he get a bicep swivel this is the bend of the elbow that is the basic 90 degrees bend and the hands are on the swivel and, and of course you can bend it inside for some poses but I would not recommend that and that would be it for the upper body he got a torso he got a weight swivel you can kick him to the front that far and to the back that far this is a split which is really nice and you got a thigh swivel and this is the knee bend since it's a part of the transformation so like unfortunately you got blocked so that is pretty much all the knee bend and the feet it has a joint over here and it's a ball joint so we can do some pivot and rotate around and that will be it so for the articulation of a deluxe at that time i mean this is decent he can pull up most of the poses with his energon axe and his ion blaster that is great now let's get to transformation So this is the vehicle mode at the transformation and I must say this is a pretty satisfying transformation for deluxe class I have no problem with it So here we have his Cybertronian vehicle mode and yeah it is an average Cybertronian vehicle with nothing too spectacular because this is Oran Pax not Prime and in my opinion this still base feel like it's based on an Earth vehicle rather than something that actually that's really Cybertronian and I guess to make it more Cybertronianly look they add this wing panel section onto the back yeah it, it works it works in my head it works and yeah you still see you still see some yellow highlights and in this form they have more use than in the robot form I actually enjoy those hide this yellow light that is highlighting the figures and after that this is the same thing as the robot mode and that is it and if I've gotta flip him around you see that this is a really somewhat of a really neat transformation you don't see that much of a robot cables and that's really nice and of course you can still have some weapon storage at this mode so this is an axe and you see this port over here you just plug it right on like that and for the ion blaster yes something like that if you have some what a motor truck and this can be used as a gun i guess in this mode and that is about it nothing too special really special about this vehicle in my opinion so i mean like after all these years i find this orion pax figures interesting enough for me to make a video out of it and i hope you enjoy these figures and of course for the next video i'm gonna do something that goes opposite sides of this guy which is the generation megatron so stay tuned for that and that should be it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video tell me what you think do you have this figure or and if you have the opportunity would you purchase him and after that follow me on instagram that is where i do most of my updates and also if you feel like you can help me out with the future figures feel free to buy me a coffee link will be in the description turn on out